Because like, if you want to get views on your video, what you need is like a good hook. Yeah, it's pretty basic information, Dan. So I do a proper intro. Yeah, go on. Hi, guys. Talk to us through the mirror, Josh. I can't. I don't, I don't. Okay. Right. So. Guys, <laughs> we're going to do a little pull session, quick one. Um, been filming all day. Um, I've not trained this week, but we're going to get four or five in anyway. Um, so I'll do pull today, push tomorrow, legs on Friday, maybe. Or maybe the other way around, let's see. But then upper on a Saturday, um, and then I'll probably rest on Sunday. Today, we're going to do the section. I feel like I've talked you through enough sessions for you to know what the crack is with most of the exercise selection. If there's anything different or new, I'll, uh, I'll obviously do a little explanation. But I'm going to go into my diet, um, in particular, my diet over the last like month or so maybe, um, and then what I'm looking to do with my diet going forward. Because I know diet, social events, that sort of thing, people that want to get in shape like diet is a big kind of sticking point so try and give you a bit of a nudge in the right direction is that weird talking through the mirror yeah they like it <laughs> the key I think right now I've got like a big one like a wedding or something at the weekend I'll naturally I think like people that are like generally in shape and stuff will naturally do this anyway it's not like anything that's profound or um, specific to me it's just it's just like a calorie banking but naturally I'll just eat a little bit less in a week so if I'm on I'm on 3,800 calories just now it's very, like at that, like when that's your maintenance or you're pushing up on that, you don't want to go over that for your weekly target. It's very easy to bank, say, a thousand calories and eat 2,800 calories, so then I can have a big one at the wedding, do you know what I mean? So I think that's how, I listen, I, probably, I have lost half a yard, like I'm not, um, I don't look as sharp, I probably don't look as lean, I'm probably not quite as strong as I was before I went to, on holiday, but, I'm not like six steps back, like as if I hadn't trained at all or done anything. Um, so yeah, don't just press the bucket button. Oh. <laughs> I've been ready for about 10 minutes. You've just been filming me like that. <laughs> so, 3,800 calories. There's 250 protein. I think it's about 80 fat, so then whatever the rest is, is carbohydrates. Usually, usually, if I'm not um, AWOL, shall we say, <laughs> I, uh, my meals will be either Eggs and toast in the morning, eggs, bacon medallions, toast, sourdough. Sourdough is the king, obviously. Um, or oats and protein. Today, because I know I had Dan the man on the camp, 
I was in a bit of a rush this morning to have some food, um, and still, so I had some brain power to talk on the camera. Um, so I just had a big protein shake and a couple of boxes of fruit, so I am behind a little bit. Um, next meal will usually be, I think I've got like fucking three chicken wraps usually. Like three chicken wraps. Um, so I might spread, they won't eat all of those at once, I'll just spread them out when I get a little bit of peckish or something like that. Then it is, it's like big fucking bowl of yogurt, peanut butter, berries, some granola in there and stuff, little bits and bobs. Um, very similar food to what I eat when I diet, then like either pasta or potato and meat on the evening. Um, whether that meat is chicken, beef, whatever. Um, one of the biggest things that this coach has put in is like a little bit more veggies, I think, um, and more, more supplements as well. Not necessarily super supplements, but um, <laughs> just supplements. We'll talk about, maybe talk about that another time. But just supplements, like more stuff for my brain, more stuff for, just more stuff. <laughs> and more veggies, so like 300 grams of veggies twice a day. So when I have my tortillas, my wraps and stuff, packing them full of veggies and like pasta, rice, whatever I have on the evening, ram full of veggies. Usually like 10, 10 to 10 broccoli on the evening is usually my go-to. Air fryer on roast for about three to four minutes. on that set there at the start I was a little bit like bunched up I was doing that and I kind of I think it must have been off after about four or five reps I realized that like correcting myself so you don't want like your, your scapula up your shoulder going up so I think you want it down depressed nice and relaxed so you're not bringing your traps in as much we have plenty of exercises that knock your traps rows that sort of thing um, so we want to Isolate that red out as much as possible. Get fucking wild. I look like I've been kissed by the, the sun gods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you look really pale on this video, Dad, now you've said that. Not pot, pot noticeable. <laughs> Bit of arms to finish, you can never, you never have two bigger arms, can you? So, a few sets of curls, probably some more curls. <laughs> um, what more have I been doing with my food? I think I'm not someone who, like if prepping food works with you and your lifestyle, that's fantastic. Like I'm quite fortunate that like, I've got a little more time sometimes in the day to maybe, or on the evening, I'll cook for the next day maybe. But I don't like having like two day old chicken or something like that. I think when I was younger and I had to do that, I had it to death and like it makes, it knocks me sick, the smell does now. So I just prep for a, a day in front and I won't prep all the meals. I'll have like my evening meal, I'll always eat something that's like freshly made, like my pasta dish or stir fry or a JB burger. All my clients know about the JB burgers. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm having a JB burger tonight. Pretty, pretty on the fly guy. <laughs> uh, I am, I'll tell you what I'm a fucker for. Like, when I'm at my um, office doing work and stuff, important business work, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm a fucker for just grabbing like a pack of like, a couple of packs of cooked chicken from the, from the shop and then the pack of wraps and the salad from there. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, sometimes needs must, but sometimes it is just laziness on my part. Um, and it ends up costing me a fucking fortune. It's just like the driest, shittest wrap you can ever imagine. So you just feel like you've been, yeah. No sauce. Yeah, of course. I've got like sriracha or oh, okay. um, Frank's Red Hot Sauce and Nand Nando's Lemon and Herb I've got at the minute. Have you tried the Perisaka? 
the Saka huh? one. Yeah, you've not been having Nando's because I'm dieting you. Yeah? <laughs> so you had to like pause and say, nah, nah, of course I haven't had that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I only want a little bit of sweet. I'm more savoury, I am. Yeah, I'd like rather have like a... Two starters. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was honestly just about to say that. I swear on <laughs> my life. Yeah, give me wings and garlic bread or nachos or something. I have a share of starter sometimes. Yeah, I did 20 wings the once. <laughs> As a starter. <laughs> and then had a fucking Wagyu steak or something. <laughs> ah. Right. Session done, I am cooked. It was it? It was one of them where it wasn't a grueler. Uh, maybe I haven't drank enough water today. Maybe uh, I'm making excuses. Maybe I didn't have a very good sleep, night, sleep the night before, but there you go. Box ticked, done the session. Um, what am I gonna have for post-workout food? I'm in a rush, so I'm probably gonna go back and grab a protein shake or something along those lines and have, um, Maybe some oats or something, proats. The JB proats, remember doing that wacky video on that? <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I'll catch you next time. Are you gonna see me out? <laughs> now, nah, I have got them. <laughs> get the light, get the light. Hey, flabs. A week uh, of going out, every, uh, a month of going out every weekend and eating shit, drinking piss. Ha 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 